Let's finish with satiety. Um, <sighs> often when protein is spoken about, the other thing that comes up is, well, it, it can assist with weight loss. It can help uh, someone feel fuller on fewer calories. Um, so I'm, I'm interested, is protein king when it comes to feeling sated um, and therefore great for someone if they're wanting to lose weight? I'm in or I'll wait, Stu. Your Can turn. I go first? Yep, your turn. <laughs> I, I, I'm not a satiety expert, uh, n- like not by not by a long stretch. Uh, I'll say this. Uh, I've had the privilege, pleasure of speaking on lots of protein programs. I'm usually the exercise guy. Um, and I've you know followed or listened to Rick Mattis, Marguerite Westerterp, uh, Harvey Anderson, who I think are pretty good satiety people. From a macronutrient perspective, they'd agree that protein is the most satiating. Is it the only uh, player in satiety? Absolutely not. I mean, I'm, I, I know enough to know that there are lots of other, um, you know, satiety uh, signals, stomach distension, so water, fiber, et cetera. Uh, I think I saw in Chris's email, he wanted to talk about Robert Rolls' uh, sort of theory in this and volumetrics. and I'd be the first to say that, you know, personal experience and in Chris has got far more experience in weight loss trials than me, than me um, that there are, you know, multitudinal, multitudinous factors, of, you know, contributing to society. Mm-hmm. Christopher, do you want to comment on that? And I think something just, just to add into that is in addition to protein, how important is the, the sort of texture or the volume of, of, of the food or drink that that protein is coming from. Um, just thinking about it myself, for example, a kind of pea protein shake in water for me, although it may provide 30 grams of protein, is not very sating. Right. Yeah. So drinking is never very satiating. So it's much easier to drink your calories than to eat them. Uh, if you look at some of the literature on this, as Stu suggested, I feel like it's kind of all over the map. Protein is satiating, but Fiber and the water retention you get there and the distension you get, that's satiating. And fat delays gastric emptying as it floats to the top of your stomach. So fat is satiating. And we never eat protein, fat, carbs alone. We eat them in combination. So I was, I've always been really impressed and I've cited this one paper often, and it is just one paper, but it was Barbara Rolls being very clever and she made a casserole in six different ways. And the casserole looked the same to everyone. And as much as they could, it tasted the same. And the, and she had, I'm, I'm going to guess this is students. I think this is how she does most of her, her studies. She had students come in on different weekends and they would eat something and then they'd, they'd monitor satiety with these visual analog scales or how many calories they ate later in the day. And the casserole had five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35% protein. It varied across an incredibly wide spectrum. And the participants ate the same number of calories at every level of protein. And they were asked to eat until they were sated. So I thought that was just fascinating. And just in terms of comparison, are those studies hard to do? She did another really clever one where she had two variables she was manipulating. And one was energy density and one was size that you could see visually. And she had multiple servings of these things on plates and there were Two energy densities, one was high and low, and for the low energy density, that basically just means it was the same dish, but in, it incorporated more water, and so it, that water diluted the number of calories, right? And then for the volume, they just served larger and smaller portions. And what they found was if they did four weekends in random order with students, again, I think they ate something like 500 calories less a day for almost either one alone, and when they put them both together, they ate 800 calories less for the day and said they were similarly sated. 800 calories a day. And so w- when I look at these things that say, yes, protein is satiating. If you eat this way, it will make a difference. I- I'm going to say kind of back to Stu, maybe it makes a difference sometimes, but I actually think other factors play a much ra- larger role than the protein. And Having said that, I will say if you take these standard sad American diet breakfast of 
breakfast cereal with refined grain, added sugar, multicolored marshmallows, orange juice beside that, plus a piece of white toast with some jelly on it, basically carb on carb on carb on carb on carb. And instead you had eggs and bacon and sausage, you would be more full on the eggs and bacon and sausage. But what was the comparison? It was a ridiculous comparison of all refined carbs and sugar. 